the security realities on the ground in Libya are growing increasingly complex and unpredictable, said Marine Corps General Thomas Waldhauser, the head of U.S. Africa Command. Even with an adjustment of the force, we will continue to remain agile in support of existing U.S. strategy. He did not provide details on the number of U.S. troops that have been withdrawn or how many remain in the country. Faya Saraj, head of government in Tripoli, accused Hifter of betraying him. Saraj and Hifter held talks in Abu Dhabi in late February, their first confirmed meeting since November 2018, when they agreed that national elections were necessary, according to the UN. The UN envoy for Libya, Ghassan Salami, said the UN is determined to hold the planned conference. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo urged Libyan factions to return to negotiations, saying that there is no military solution to the Libya conflict. Fighting was underway Sunday at the international airport, some 24 kilometers, 15 miles, from central Tripoli, after Hifter claimed to have seized the area. The airport was destroyed in a previous bout of militia fighting in 2014. Hifter said his forces had launched airstrikes targeting rival militias on the outskirts of Tripoli. The rival militias, which are affiliated with a government in Tripoli, said they had also carried out airstrikes, slowing Hifter's advance. Colonel Mohamed Naunu, a spokesman for GNA forces, said in televised comments Sunday that the counteroffensive, dubbed Volcano of Anger, was aimed at purging all Libyan cities of aggressor and illegitimate forces. The two sides reported that at least 35 people, including civilians, had been killed since Thursday. The health ministry of the Tripoli-based government said in a statement that at least 21 people, including a physician, were killed and at least 27 wounded. Ahmed al-Mesmeri, a spokesman for Hifter's forces, said Saturday that 14 troops had been killed since the offensive began. The fighting has displaced hundreds of people the UN Migration Agency said. The UN mission to Libya called for a two-hour ceasefire on Sunday in parts of Tripoli to evacuate civilians and the wounded. The LNA is supported by Egypt, the United Arab Emirates, France and Russia. It answers to the authorities based in eastern Libya, who are at odds with the government. Magdi reported from Cairo.